So I've got a couple snapping turtle shells here from snapping turtles that I've harvested. Um, I removed and processed the meat, and so I'm uh, got that packaged up and in the freezer, and that's going to be uh, some good quality meat. But I've got these shells here, and I think the turtle shells are pretty sharp looking, um, especially you know a large size one like this is a 30 pound snapping turtle. Um, so I'm going to show you how I clean them up. You can see once you you know removing the the meat I cut the back strap out of the center here but there's still a lot of just kind of miscellaneous meat that's still hung up in this shell and so the most effective way I've found to do it is using a pressure washer so I'm going to show you I'm just going to use I wear a, you'll see in the video I wear a kind of a full body suit I've got uh, waders on and I'll put a rain uh, a rain jacket on and a, a face mask and I'll just go to town trying to blast away every little piece of red meat or fat um, that I can find. So here uh, I'll show you, show you what I do. So here I've got, uh, I've got an orbiting, orbiting tip or a turbo tip um, on the end of my pressure washer. So it's constantly spinning. It's not just a regular pressure washer tip. And I'm just going around the whole turtle shell, turning it, trying to get in every little nook and cranny along the, under the edge of the shell as well as up along the, the uh, the spine just trying to spray any meat off that I can um, trying to trying to get it completely cleaned up and get it to where there's no or there's minimal amount of meat that way I don't have to worry about uh about it spoiling then you see I flip it over and pressure wash the outside too you know the the back side of the shell is, is going to have a lot of moss some may have a lot of moss and uh, algae and different things growing on it so uh, it, it takes a good uh, good cleaning as well. So as you can see, it's definitely a messy job, but uh, to, that's about the best way that I've come up with. You see, I tried to get as much of the of the red meat off as possible, and there's still a little bit, um, and then still got a lot of bit of this a lot of this. Uh, this white kind of sinewy stuff but overall it's pretty clean compared to you know it didn't it did look something like this so now what I'll do and, and you you see I also did the back actually this one's pretty clean too but this one originally this one originally had a lot of uh, you know algae and moss and whatnot growing on it um, so I did actually shoot it a little bit with some bleach scrub it down a little bit um, because even with the pressure washer that stuff can be pretty tough to get off you can still see some of the green around here um, but I like you know I like a little bit of that um, but like I say it's cleaned up now what I'll do is I will uh, and I'll, I'll walk you through all of this but I'll, uh, I'm gonna leave it out overnight kind of let it dry out from the, the pressure washing and then I'm just gonna give it a real liberal coat of, coat of borax over everything to try to make sure anything that I may have missed you know gets uh, gets cured and then I'm gonna gonna put a nice clear coat on this shell. So here's my pressure wash turtle shells. You can see they dried out pretty nice. Um, got a little bit of got a little bit of flesh that I didn't quite get all the way off. Um, and I've kind of pecked it a little bit of it and tried to squeeze out what I could. Um, and you'll see the back. You see this biggest one? It's it's cracking a little bit. Which I hadn't had that, not like I dried out that many shells, but I've done a few and I haven't had that issue happen so far. Um, this smaller one still looks nice. So what I'm going to do, and it's, I mean, it's, it's fairly dry, so, um, man, I have that big of an impact, but I'm going to just take some, I got some borax here. And I'm going to shake that off in these, in the shells and just kind of spread that around, try to get that on all of the, all of the uh, any of the spots where there looks like there might be a little bit of meat stuck on there um, and then I'll leave this sit for another day to make sure uh, there we go especially around those tail and head joints it's pretty well especially the head joint particularly but seems to be a that one that tail joint's got a pretty good bit anyway i'll leave this on tonight i'll spread it out a little bit better make sure i got a good even coat leave this on tonight and then uh, tomorrow i'll come back as if it warms up a little bit and the wind lays down and i'll put a my first clear coat on the 
outer side of the shell and um, work on getting these things prettied up and ready for display. So the last step on these turtle shells is I, I rubbed my borax everywhere I could on the inside um, so it was pretty well dry. Um, so now I've just got some uh, clear glaze and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it and coat it. What I'll do is I'll probably put two to three coats on, uh, at least two I'd say, probably three, just depending. You can see, and I, this is this is a uh, 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 this is kind of a glossy. Is what I'm trying to say, and you can see here I put one coat on this one yesterday. Um, and you can see kind of the sheen it, it puts on and I think it looks I think it makes it look really nice it really makes it really makes it pop so far as uh, the color so I'll, uh, I'll put another coat on that and I'm gonna put a coat on this and I just kinda you know with any most adjust this just a little bit So that maybe that doesn't get on my camera, but um, you know, with anything, I'm just giving just a light, trying to keep from putting it too heavy or streaking or anything. Trying to keep from getting it on myself as well. And I'm holding it. I got about that spine there. It gives you a good little handle. Um, and I try to make sure I get all the way around the edges. And then I'll also flip it over and get particularly here around the, the bottom edges. You can still see where those kind of scales are a little bit. And like I said before, I, I think I said this before, it's been a couple days of filming this, but uh, you know, some people will say the best way to clean a turtle shell is just to throw it out in the, uh, you know, throw it out in, in an ant hill and let it sit. Um, and that's fine, but like I said, these scutes and all will fall off. You can glue them back on if you want to take all that time, and then, but uh, and then spray it. So one one reason that I like, I try to I try to as I'm I'm doing one, I try to get it all done pretty quick, um, because I, I want to try to avoid those falling off. And then I feel like this putting this glaze on it also helps. This clear coat on it also helps to keep it from falling off. So it's like a spot there that I missed. Look it over real good, make sure I got it good and coated, and you can kind of see the shine that it's already put on it. So I'm gonna let that uh, I'm gonna let that dry. And then on this one that I started yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat on it. And make sure I kind of get around the edges. And that's going to be a nice. You can see you still got kind of the color there. You got some of the some of the character from. I feel like just that that glaze kind of really makes it pop. So anyway, that's that's two coats on this one. I may give this one one more just for good measure, but otherwise, I mean, these are ready for display. Um, and they got a, you know, on, with the spine here, there's a, a a spot right here at the top of the spine where uh, you could put a little loop of wire and make you make you a little loop to hang it up if you wanted to hang it on a a wall or you know, of course, as it is, it'll stand up right nice just like it is. So anyway, that's a uh, that's kind of the way that I found of trying to clean up a turtle shell, you know. It's a really nice little display item. One thing I thought of also too that you could do is you know uh, I think places like Hobby Lobby maybe sell those clock kits. So you just drill your hole right in the center and you know put your numbers around here and make it a, a kind of a, a unique looking wall clock, which I think would be kind of neat too. I'm, there's zillions of things uh, you could do with it. Chime in if you you know what what you have done with some of these turtle shells because like I said it's you know it's got a lot of character. I feel like it's a really neat piece and uh, something I you know. 
it's neat to have on display. So anyway, hope that's helpful for uh, cleaning, cleaning and prepping a turtle shell. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.